features of that model, how to set up that model, and why I actually opted to use that model. Okay, so um, just like what I've told you guys, uh, at both at model and Google Classroom are designed to help teachers supplement their classroom lessons. All right, uh, probably the only downside of Google site, I think, is uh, you, you can't register until the school sign up for uh, the Google Suite. Here in the United States, uh, we don't have any problem with that. But then again, uh, why did I use Edmodo in my uh, distance learning? Well, it's because it's like a Facebook. Okay, uh, in the Philippines, there are actually I don't know, probably 75 million Facebook users. 24% of those are actually teenagers from uh, ages 13 to 18. Uh, that could be somehow 18, 19, 20 million. That's a lot of teenagers using Facebook just in the Philippines. There are 2.5 uh, billion Facebook users. All right. So let me share to you guys uh, my, my slides. I hope you can all see it. There you go. All right, what is Edmodo now? Well, Edmodo is a learning management system or LMS, and at the same time, a social learning network. What is LMS? LMS is actually a software application for the delivery of educational courses. Well, an example of those is Google Classroom, also Moodle, also uh, Blackboard, and Schoology is also an example of LMS. Edmodo is also social learning network. And uh, since it's a social learning network, its main goal is actually to provide a lot of interaction, collaborations among students and teachers, even the admin. Uses of Edmodo, as you can see, guys, uh, it is mostly on the collaboration. The main intention, the main aim, is to offer more opportunities for collaboration and for interaction inside and outside of the physical classroom for both students and teachers. And then why, Ed, why Edmodo? Personalized learning for every student. In Edmodo, students can actually like, can actually post comments, can actually upload videos, okay? And all those things that they do using the Facebook. That's why we call it a personalized learning experience. Next, connect. Connect is teachers connect to students and vice versa, and also to the parents. That's one of the advantages of Edmodo. It is providing an avenue for parents to be a part of their child's education. Next, measure success. It is in Edmodo, we can easily track the, the progress of the student. I will show you how. Engage uh, in Edmodo, we're trying to get the students excited about learning. All right, that is actually a gargantuan task, especially for us teachers, how to actually make them engage. Next, uh, just like what I've told you guys, Edmodo, we call Edmodo as the Facebook for school. And then we can learn it anywhere and anytime you want, as long as you have the laptop, the desktop, of course, with the internet connection, all right, with an internet access also. And the most important, it's free. Next, and this is the most important, let's get started. Those are just backgrounds about Edmodo. Now, what I want you guys to, do, to, to have is to have an experience of how to create a profile. I, I have an account already, but these are just examples that I put in here. So what we're gonna do now is to create, how do we create a teacher account? So let me go here. The first thing that you should do guys is go to new new.edmodo.com. Uh, this is the new version of the Edmodo. Uh, and then it's gonna give us this one. It, it will show us how to log in, but since we still don't have an account, click on sign up. There are three options. Are you signing up as a teacher, a student, or as a parent? We're signing up as a teacher. And this is the 
this, this is so easy to do because it's just asking for an email address, a password, and it wants you to confirm the password. The school code is optional. So only two things to sign up. Since I already have one, I'm gonna go here. Uh, okay, I'm gonna sign up for my account. All right, that's my email. Voila, this is actually Edmodo. In Edmodo, guys, you're gonna have this as your, for the uh, dashboard, you have the home. This is your, this is my home already. It shows my profile right here. It shows the classes that I have. Okay, if I wanna change my profile, I just have to click on this view my profile or go back here all right and click it also click on profile and that is my profile if you want to put a picture like what i did in there uh, you can add a picture you can update a photo if you want you can add your bio your internet and so on all right let me go back to home i just click home and this is what the, you're gonna see guys these are all my classes right now since last term and up to now this summer school and this is actually my most recent post for my students this is friday it's friday here and this is what they did all right as you can see guys you can you can actually like it you can put some comments you, you can see it just like the regular facebook now what i want us to do is to create a class let me go to this classes right here then let me go to classes it will show me the different classes that i have this is my current class right now and if I want to add a class, I will just click on this plus sign, or you can actually go down here and create new class. So um, let me click on this one, and then it will say create class. I'm gonna create class. Let me name the class. Uh, let's say Edmodo class. Now let me describe it. Let's see. And then you select the grade. Let's say adult education for all of you, subject, computer, technology. And then you can actually change the color. You have a lot of choices in here. Please select a subject. I got the subject right there. Then create it. It will update. So now you have an account. You have a class. The next one is actually to add students. That's the second to the most important thing. And then you have to add students you can actually write their names here if you want but this is very laborious this is a lot for me to do so what i'm going to do is really go to classes here's my edmodo class now this is my newest class and i have here what they call the class code this is very important if you click on this class code this is uh, automatically generated by edmodo if i will actually go here there are actually three ways to invite your students. You can share the class code or you can actually share using the PDF format. You can actually attach this to your email, you give it to them and the all the instructions are here. Also, you can actually invite them by email. If you know their email, simply type their email, click send. Now, what I want you guys to do is this. If you are in front of a laptop, a computer, I want you to have the experience of creating a student account. Okay, what I want you guys to do is to follow these instructions right here. I want you to go to edmodo.com or new.edmodo.com using your computer or smartphone and then get started as a student. And then what I want you to do is put this class code. So how do we do that though? Remember the class code guys, the class code is this one right here. Now let me go to edmodo. So let's say this is my new edmodo.com then I have to sign up as a student. So I'm gonna go here, student account, and then it will just be asking for my class code is S-Z-E-W-Y-8. Then you put your username and then the email is actually optional. And then your password. This is what makes Edmodo a safe place for us. So what do the students see in their account? This is my student account. I suggest that if you will be using Edmodo, aside from your teacher's account, have yourself a student account so you will be able to see what the kids are seeing. I joined Geometry Term 2 and Geometry Term 2A. These were my subjects last term. And in the student account, you'll be seeing the home again, the classes. This is the home. If you scroll down, these are all the activities we did last June. If I click 
on classes, these are what I'm going to have. If I click on planner, what is planner? The planner will actually show you all the activities that you need to do. If they are late, they will be marked late. That means I can still take the quiz, but it's considered late. Of course, I'm not doing them. <laughs> I just wanted to see what they are saying. Backpack is where they, this is the place where they can actually store a lot of files, which they can use when they do the project or when they do the assignment. They can actually put all the files inside in here. Next, discover. In Discover, you will see a lot of, uh, I mean, there will be different uh, features in here. You have some apps in here that they can use. Uh, there's so many of them. I actually asked them to play the Jumpstart Academy way back. So this is the student account. And one good feature about Edmodo is that you can actually do the messaging in here. Now let me log out and let me go back to my feature account. So here, let's continue now classes. See, every class has a different color and it has this cover also, our resources for you to use from preschool to college probably. And there's a lot of videos. If you go on all of those, there's so many of them. You have the games in here. I am a math teacher, I teach math. So I ask them to play this Jumpstart Academy for math. If they will play it, they will be seeing this big topics of about operations, measurement and data, geometry, fractions, and they actually enjoyed it. Also messages, if the students can write messages, you can also write messages. This is an example of, of the messages that I got from a student of mine. She got some questions and you can answer them. It is not always uh, logical and ethical to text them using their cell phone. But this one right here, is designed for educational purposes. So you can easily text them or give them messages, send them messages through this one right here. And the last one in the dashboard is this bell. Just like the Facebook, you have a notification bell. And the notification bell, it puts everything that is being done in your class. And of course, just like this, this is the profile. If you want to uh, update your profile, your pictures, this is what you're supposed to click. Now, let me go back to classes. Let me click on add model. Are there people who actually sign up? Oh, there you go, Reynaldo, thank you. Good AM, good morning to you too. Rhoda, good morning, sir. Good morning to you too. Magandang umaga sa inyo lahat. Wow, look at this. This is so good. Now, if you will look, these are the posts that I have. If I go to members, these are the members that I have right here. I got 58 students already. There's so many of them. Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, I did not limit the number of students. I have more than almost 60 students in here. And if you will look at this guys, connect to parents. Parents can actually sign up too. But how can the parents sign up? They need a special code coming from the student. Each student has a special parent code. Again, let me go back to my student account. So let's see, where can I find this, the, the parent code? This is my student account. The parent code is actually right here. Lower left side corner is my code. All this information that I have in here, my parent can see my grade. My parent can see if I'm doing the activities. My parent can see all the communications that I have. That's for the parents. Next, let me again go back to my teacher account. Then this is the most important thing, guys. Now I have students, I have the classroom, then I have to start with my, how do you make a post? People keep on posting. I really appreciate that. Let's say I want to I wanna put a post right here. It starts with more teachers by adding a hashtag to your post. Let's say I want to put, have a great day. Now, I want to make this like a Facebook. I want to put some images. I can actually go to attach files if you have some files and images. You can actually, if you click on this GIF, G -I -F, you can actually, let's say I'm happy. All right, I'm gonna click on that happy. I'm gonna choose this one. Students love LeBron James. LeBron James is right there. If they want cartoons, there are cartoons. They are so cute. And let's say I wanna put this, this one right here. There you go. And you have it right there. And just simply post will be seen by any teacher on Edmodo. Now your connection. Yeah. Okay. So I have that. Then I can post it. What I want you guys to do, I want this post to be always at the top. So how will I do that? I'm going to click on this three dots right here. I'm going to edit it for the meantime. Okay. Because I want to add the video right here. First, 
let me find a video about ad model. So this guy right here, okay, you can actually use this, all right? These are actually good for you to learn a lot about that model. So I can actually play this one. All I need to do, just click the share and copy this link, go back to my account and click this add link right here and then paste it right there. Click on the title, click OK. Now your video will be there. When they click on this, they will see the video. All right, let's say I want to attach a file. So let's edit it again and let me attach the file. I want to attach the test that you just took a while ago. And then where is it? It's right here. And then I will click the save again. And that's how you post messages. That's how you post and how you attach video and attachments. Then let's say you want the kids to watch the video and after that, you're going to give them a quiz. So how do we make a quiz? All I need to do is go to class. I'm going to click on Edmodo class and then I'm going to look for the class create. It will show if you want to give them an assignment, then you can choose new assignment. If you have an existing assignment, you can put load existing assignment. If you want to give them a quiz, click on the quiz. New. Okay, I want to have an experience of looking at this. So this is the detail. This is what I actually do. I'm going to teach you how to really make an easy quiz. I'm going to click on my file, say at Moto Trivia. I will just make this one smaller a little bit. And after that, let me just put this one here. So it's a quiz title. Let's say at Moto trivia then fashion there are two things that you, you got to do you got to do the quiz details and the quiz question instruction so i will just copy and paste and put it right here i'm done with it it says to the correct answer oh wow look at that it even has a autocorrect and now i'm going to go to the question multiple choice so let's say uh, i want it to be multiple choice how many people so i will just again copy and paste this one question number one if you will click on this, guys, it will give you different types of text. True or false, multiple choice, short answer, fill in the blanks, matching type, multiple answer. I'm choosing multiple choice right now. So how many people are using that mother right now? I always suggest that you attach the file. If in case they don't understand what you actually typed in here, okay, I'm going to attach this file right here. There you go. Now you have the file, they can always open that. Then this is important because this will auto automatically give you a result afterwards. Now, uh, let's say uh, 20 million, 20 M. Uh, let's say this is uh, 50 M, over 50 M. Let me just uh, do it like this. All right, but I want like additional response because I still have one in here, one billion, one bill. So one billion. But then you can assign the points. I said two points each, so I'm going to put two right there. Then after that, there are two things you can do. It's either you duplicate the question or you actually, like taking us so, so long, saving it, or you can actually add a question. The advantage of duplicating the question is it will actually give you those same questions. Let's see, it's staying sometimes. I have, I have the number two, I have this question, but I also have the attachment. If I will choose add, add new question, it's not gonna show the attachment at all. So I'm done with the multiple choice. I wanna make it true or false now. I'm just clicking on that, true or false, and then change this question. True or false, there are 400,000 schools using uh, the motto. True or false? Oh, wait, I forgot something here. Because the default will be the first choice. What is our answer in here? 100 million, if our answer is 100 million, you gotta click on this guy, because that's the correct answer. Click on that, so that this test will automatically be checked, not by you, but by Edmodo. 100 million. And then here, uh, let's say the answer is true. Then you have the third question, Let's say the third question, I want the third question to be fill in the blanks. What is it? The number of countries at model? The number of countries using at model, uh, what is it? Right now is, okay, now 
the blank will be what? The blank will be this one right here. That is the blank. You don't have to actually make it longer. That is fine. And then here, oh, I didn't change this. You gotta change this one into a fill in the blank. And then you have to write the answer. So how many countries? It says 190 countries, right? So 190 countries. So I'm not gonna finish everything, guys. You can do matching type. Uh, you can do short answer if you want to. Short answer, problem with the short answer is the ad model actually is not gonna to automatically check it for you you have to check it yourself that is the well that is short answer everybody will have a different answer now um what i want to do now is to assign this so let's say i'm done assign and assign it to add model class the date uh, let's say the date is 27 now what I want you guys to do once you get this one is to answer them, okay? And then you can randomize the questions if you want to. You can actually lock the quiz if you want to. After 11.59 p.m., you can actually choose what time you want. It could be in the, in the evening or it could be in the morning. It's all up to you if you want to lock the quiz. Locking the quiz means after the due date, they can never do it again. So there are other options. You can randomize the question, meaning to say one will go to two or two will go to four, something like that. You can schedule it later if you want to also. I will be assigning it right now. There you go. Got it. All right. Now, look at this. I have my first quiz, zero submission. Now, if you, if you are a member of my class, what I want you guys to do is to actually take the quiz. Please do so, so we can see your progress. Just click on this. It says in your account to take the quiz. Thank you for participating and cooperating. And I also suggest to always refresh it because of the time constraints that I have right now. So what will I get if I click on this? it will show you the progress so far i have the high score is 100 percent the average score is 86 percent the median or the middle score is 100 percent you, you actually have this bar graph right here also see look at this most of those who took it got 90 to 100 60 to 69 okay and then if you click on these students you're gonna see who are doing this oh there's a lot of you doing this you will see who are actually doing it right now, I think right now in progress. And those that are graded right here can tweet all of this. Thank you so much guys for doing this. Now, if people will tend to forget, I mean, you know, most of students, they tend to forget that there's a due date. You can send them a reminder. If I click on this, don't forget your quiz due soon and then click send, it will go straight to their message. So uh, aside from that guys, if you click on class also, you will see the progress. You click on progress and this is what you're gonna see. You will see their grades. And these grades, you can actually export them to Excel. See, look at this. All right, that's a lot. Thank you guys so much. Look at this. So many people doing it very good. Students will never see this one. It is only you who can see this one. They will only see their scores. Wow, thank you. All right, let's say, let me go back to my class again, to my Edmodo class, and I wanna say thank you to all of those people who actually did it. Uh, put a comment, okay? Uh, you can comment right here, congratulations, congratulations, and then comment. And then if you know the names, put the names, congratulations, et cetera, et cetera. Just like what I'm doing right now here, uh, let me go back to my class, uh, to my current class. I always congratulate them because they love that. They love all these videos too. I mean, this this is a G. And when, when people are getting perfect scores like this, uh, oops, Kenny, when I checked it this morning, oops, you did it again, Kenny, another perfect score, yay. And then you can actually add all this. And the last one, guys, at Moto Training, is actually at least two hours, but we're just trying to squeeze everything just to give you guys an idea on how cool and how easy it is all right but these are best practices for safe social networking encourage your students to create their own account do not allow them to ask somebody to make their account after all students join the group lock the group code you can lock the group code to prevent others from joining especially those who are not actually part of your class monitor group membership to ensure, ensure only students in your group have joined educate students on proper outline additional references and thanks to you all and uh, of course thanks to apta you guys are the best uh google images i just put this one here for the sake of being safe <laughs> and most importantly i wanna thank you
for your cooperation, for lending me your ears. You guys actually are the great. It's just so good giving this webinar to people like you, Filipinos like me. Thank you so much.